to a live jewelry jar again and I hope you enjoy looking at jewelry as much as I do. That's what we do here. We open the jewelry jars and um, still doing it, still loving it, still finding treasure, still finding trash, but uh, it's what brings us back and back again. And I did find, I don't know if you saw my post earlier, but I did find a really, really good score today. And interestingly, same place I got these bags, but uh, this time he let me have the tub full. And I'm so excited about it. I really am. I'm not sure how I'm going to present the tub of jewelry. I will likely do it by the scoopful because if these take us an hour, I'm not going to sit through, you know, three or four hours of a tub full of jewelry. But if you're game, let me know. Give me your feedback in the comment section and see. <laughs> Give me some suggestions as how you think I should um, excavate all of that. So I'm so, so excited about it. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. If you're new, don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you walk in the door. That really helps us grow this channel, gets more and more people excited about doing nothing but looking at jewelry. So, um, and sometimes we go hunting for it too, but it's been a while. I did start back to school. I, um, I'm a full-time special education teacher in a life skills classroom. So to say that I come home and collapse uh, is a gross understatement, but I do come home and collapse, but I try to get the content out for you as much as I can, and um, hopefully you're watching some of the other videos. I definitely have a library of videos <laughs> to keep you company. Let me say hi to a couple of people, and we will get started. Hi, Miss Tanya, Barbara, Susie, Sanja, Carla, and Linda. All right, so this, I believe, is from the same place. I, I had a couple of other jewelry jars okay remember i told you he made me like two or three this one's super heavy but i don't quite remember all of them and the i kind of get them mixed up i still have like two i think two bags from him and then the now i have a tub full so um we're gonna get started this one is 89.99 was the price on it but it is heavy and the tub was heavy too they offered to carry it out for me the tub was very, very heavy. Uh, we're going to see what's in here. Again, we never know. We find a lot of trash, but boy, do we find treasure. Um, one was the diamond ring I'm wearing. I bought, I found this, um, what, about a month ago? And I believe it was, it was in one of his jars. I don't recall, honestly. I, I can't believe I can't remember my zip code sometimes, but I can't. But anyway, yeah, I had it fixed. They charged me $80 to get it fixed. It is white gold. It is beautiful, almost two carats, I believe, or a little over two carats of diamonds. And they are not cheap diamonds. They are beautiful, white, clear, vintage diamonds. So I did do it in a pinky ring. I just really love the statement pinky ring. I think I told you about it was a big thing in the 40s and 50s. And I do love it. So I am wearing it there on the pinky. And... Um, White gold. Okay, and then I also... No, this one I found, I believe, on Posh or Macari. It's a vintage, true deco, beautiful piece. And it has, um, he, I mean, um, marcasites. But I think these marcasites are made with pyrite. Now, there's a big difference between the pyrite and the uh, hematite marcasites. Marcusites are notorious for fallout. I have a total love-hate relationship. I stay away far, far, far away from them unless they're the vintage variety because they're usually still there. For some reason, the others, the new ones, they um, they actually shrink. Uh, it's a natural tendency of the stone, I believe. It's the hematite that tends to shrink. So that's why they fall out. But this is gorgeous. It's uh, garnets and marcusite. And I am showing the rings because people do ask me all the time. You forgot to show the rings, da 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 da. So now I'm showing them. And this is a beautiful ring I got uh, from Miss Makeup Zombie. It was a set. It's a vintage. Oh my gosh, who is this guy? I forgot. Someone help me out. Les Bernard. Les Bernard. And it's sterling and it's organic and it's gorgeous. And it had the mat uh, matching necklace. Then this one, I believe I picked this up at the Goodwill or some little thrift store years ago. It's gold and it is tanzanite. And very, very cheaply had at a thrift store. Don't we love thrift stores? Tell me what you love about thrift stores. Everything. 
everything, right? Even the adventures. <laughs> and we've talked about those as well. All right, let's get started. Wow, that was a long time to show you all those rings, but I had to get on that rant about market sites because I just stay so clear of them unless they're vintage. But that's th that can be said about lots of stones, right? Even in the best department stores, the um, rubies are treated, the garnets are treated, and you know that's why the the vintage gems garner so much because people do want that that untreated stone. Okay, bling bling headband. All right, thank you. I thought it was a uh, what do you call it? Like a little key holder. That's kind of cute. I love purple. All right, it's a headband. Okay. I'm not mad about that. Let me see who else is here. Lupe, how are you? Yes, thank you. And uh, Susie, Barbara. Okay, I see something interesting right here, but so much of this is like packed in this little bag. That's why I couldn't resist the tub when he said, you know what, I have a tub today. Do you want it all? And I was like, uh... And we were actually bartering for the price. And we compromised. I was really excited. He, he yeah, I was happy. I, I saved $50 from what he wanted originally. So, nice, yeah. And, I mean, this thing is humongously heavy. And it's just a bag. It's insane. Hi, Emily! Um, what is this? How fitting. <laughs> it looks like little maracas or something, doesn't it? Some kind of wood, but it's tiny for a child. Okay. Then a little button earring. Always check the backs. They could be gold. Many times they're gold. Not the whole earring, sometimes just the back. So keep an eye on, it, on that. Okay, this one is broken and dirty. Because the possibility of finding a treasure, exactly, Miss Susie. It's, it is, absolutely. Absolutely, is that's what it is. And the thing is, people don't believe it and people scoff at it and think they're, you know, it's just unreal the kind of comments we get sometimes about their stores and um, patronizing comments and so forth. Well, I always say, that's fine. Think what you think. Stay away from the thrift stores. Leave it all for us. Leave it all for the rest of us who love it. Okay, this looked like it said Chico's, and it's really cute. But maybe not. Let me see. It's an interesting hallmark there. What does it say? You know what this is? Is it? I, I was going to say Carolyn Pollock, but it's a premiere. It looked like one of her C's this way. So premiere designs, and that's a real tiger eye, and that's really pretty. And I believe, here's another tag too. Yeah, I it's so interesting though. It really looks like that C from the Carolyn Pollock, doesn't it? Can you see it? But I think it's premiere designs. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up as you walk in the door. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's got a crown and a little laurel leaves. It's gorgeous, though. I really like it. That's a pretty tiger eye. And that is a genuine tiger eye. And here is some... Ooh, pretty. I love this. Look at this Jasper stuff. This one looks like a premiere as well. Yep, it is. Look, you can take this off. Well, that is really nice and versatile. This has a little jump ring attachment. Very cool. Some kind of quartz, I guess. Hi, Miss Barb. I hope you're doing well. Okay. Thank you again for joining me on Friday night when I really want to collapse. <laughs> But I came home and made a frittata for dinner and watched a few videos, and then I thought I would do one. Of course, before I came home, I went to the Goodwill, and that's where I scored the tub of jewelry. Uh, I think this is acrylic. Yeah, this is acrylic, but these 
look like stones, but I think they're also acrylic. It's a nice look, though. Can you guys see okay? Let me know how I sound, how it looks. I sometimes get a little blurry, but let me know. Finding the treasure and redesigning it to something unique. That's true, too. Yes, for sure. Oh, this is pretty. This is cold. This is a stone here. Look at that. A little rose on that. That's very interesting. Does that say 925? No, I don't think so. But I love it. I don't know what it is. Look at that. Looks kind of like a tortoise shell. Some kind of agate, I guess. I see some banding in there. That's very nice. And what is this with turquoise nuggets? Mm -hmm. And some pearls. That's interesting there. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. It's got kind of a breast plate look or whatever they call that. I love this brass. That is genuine turquoise. Wowie. I love that. That is really cool. And I love this type of Native American. It's inspired, of course. Native American inspired or Southwest inspired. But that is like my favorite when I see genuine Native pieces. Authentic. I, I don't know what they call this. If you do, let me know. I don't know what they call this style or this particular regalia. But, oh my gosh, that is nice. I love that. Brass. And no maker on it. Very nice. Oh, that's good. I mean, that's cute. I, I don't know why I said good, but it reminds me of a necklace I made years ago. I just attached all kinds of pearls to a sterling chain. It kind of reminded me of this. And crystals. This is not crystals, though. They are glass. They're well made. Very nice. It's a good piece. Very nice. Okay. Thank you again for joining me. If I don't say hello, it's only because I want to get through here in uh, less than an hour. <laughs> or no more than an hour. So thank you so much for being here. This is beautiful, too. Very nice little tribal-looking piece as well. And it's on a gold chain. And what do we call this chain? A snail chain. I learned that not too long ago. Yeah, see how it looks like a snail? That's beautiful. Very cool. And then we have a little enamel. This is pretty. It looks like a little collar. It's like a little elaboration on the Peter Pan collar, don't you think? Good condition, too. I like that. That is nice. What is this? This is some Mardi Gras stuff or something. This little bottle top here. Very tangled. <laughs> it's not even a real bottle top. Okay, and it says angel on it. Okay, we'll put that in the crafter lot. And a little kid's bracelet as well. By the way, I know you guys know that I give away my crafter lots. I only ask for the shipping and a fee to cover the PayPal. So if anybody's interested in it, I, I will, I do have a bucket full now. So I think I can fill up about three boxes. Usually I can fill up the $20 box. So for about $25, $30, I'll ship one out to you if you're the first couple of people to email me. My email is always in the description box. But uh, yeah, I'll only charge shipping on that. And honestly, there's going to be some full pieces of jewelry in there. It's just like I've got so much. And there's certain things that, you know, maybe the 
clasp is a little bit worn or it's missing the clasp or something that's what i put in my crafter lots and i don't sell them i because i'm drowning and um but i do give them away so if you're interested i know i gave away a few last time and i said i would do it again when that tub that giant hamper of a tub is full and it's full again so let me know this is really cute i like this it's glass or ceramic very nice very very nice so those of you who are familiar with it you know what i'm talking about but um yeah that's just a way for me to give back a little bit and i know that there's a lot of creative people out there who actually last time i gave some two of them were school teachers and they took them to their class and they said the kids had fun and did all kinds of projects with jewelry so you guys let me know but i won't get back to you till probably next week because i'm leaving out of town tomorrow and um I'll get back to my email and everything when I get back. So, yeah. And so, that therefore, my auction is canceled for tomorrow over on Facebook. I usually do jewelry auctions on Facebook if you're interested in that. All that information is in the links also below. Description box. This one is acrylic. And I do that every Saturday at 5 p.m. Unless I have another engagement like I do tomorrow. <laughs> So that's the only place I sell directly is at that auction on Facebook. But of course, if you ever see anything in a haul, also email me. I just don't like to take my content to selling only. This is for entertainment purposes. That's why we started this channel. I love this. This is beautiful. It has shells. It has pearls. It has crystals and glass and it is really pretty i love long necklaces kind of the silvery pearl in that hey miss gina how are you and let me see who else need to relax watching your jewelry our barb you're so sweet thank you thank you for being here so yeah that's a nice one i even love the way these feel very nice well it's broken but it matched. I think this was the one. <laughs> See, that'll go in a crafter lot. But usually I like to take the backs off anyway because I always need gold backs. So that'll be in the crafter lot there. More kid jewelry. What is this? A whistle? Uh, a lipstick? I think it's a little tube of lipstick. <laughs> that is hilarious. More baby bracelets. All right. Not cool. Don't need that many. And, oh, cute. A chihuahua. He's heavy, too. He's purple. He's heavy metal. How cute is that? Glittery purple chihuahua with blue eyes and a black bow tie. Look at him. Darling. More kid jewelry. This one says best friends. The girls in my class, they're, well, one's a seventh, eighth. I think I have two 7th graders, one 8th grader. They love those best friend things still. They're into it. All right, Cezanne. This is pretty. What's the price? 16 bucks. Very good condition. Little pearly thing with shades. It's got a little Chanel vibe to it. That's pretty. Okay. I like this bangle or whatever it is. This is a little bracelet. It looks like it has a mark right there. Maybe it says, I don't know. Every time, every time I say, I think it says Monet, it'll say Avon, but let me check. It's nice. Gosh, I can't read that tiny thing. Let me look. It does say Monet. No, Napier. It's a Napier. It's very nice. Very well made and in great condition. So that's nice when you wear your pearls. Nice closure, too. Napier. I wonder how old that is. 
because it looks well made and a lot of these companies have gone way down south haven't they i should i should say up east <laughs> to china and their quality has gone down okay all right what is this oh one of those rings one of those crazy rings i like these i had a sterling one like this that i sold and it goes like let me see if i can put it on it goes like midway and then the other way it's kind of cool this looks like brass all right so it would go like this that's cool like that there it is and then you can bend your finger oh i like it i'll put the ring over here the other ring over there that is really nice and i love the the color yeah i sold one like this at my auction i still remember i think uh, anita bought it and i think she still wears it but it was sterling i think it had opals it was gorgeous anita Benita, who is now i think she has a new name now but we all know her as anita okay what is this and that was only because it didn't fit me right, because I really like this style. It's kind of cool. Okay, we got tangles, y'all. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to try to look in here as best and quickly as I can. Oh, this one was <laughs> this one was out a minute. I need to start giving some of these to my girls in class. I'm making them earn it anyway. Yep. And this one says love. And tangled up, but there is another necklace in there, another chain. It's an apple. Oh, that's pretty. A little glitter on that apple. It's a nice chain, too. Look at that. That one's cute. This one has a fancy little clasp let me see if it says anything on it yeah it does it's a swarovski awesome and the little dove is right there or what is he a dove what is he swan i'm sorry <laughs> there he is right there the swarovski is quite uh stealthy honestly you have to hunt for that little duck whatever the heck he is a swan there he is I knew it looked kind of special. Look at that, just for me, too. Little apple, since I am a teacher. I think I've only gotten one real apple from a student, and it was really big and beautiful. I remember I took a picture of it. <laughs> Very nice. It's so heavy and beautiful. And I guess it's marked back there as well. Looks like it has a copyright and the swan back there, too. Very hefty. Oh, I love that. I have to wear that. That is really cute. All right. Hi, Sandra. Candace. Thanks for being here. Okay, here's a heavy something in here. Well, so far, that uh, Swarovski paid for the whole bag, don't you think? Yep. Okay, we've got some shingle bells in there. And something blackened here. Or black, not blackened. Black. Oh, it's pretty tangled up. Stars, too? Okay, here we go. Let me take this off of here. All right. Christmas with a monkey. And this black one is very nice, but it's very tangled. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it out tonight. I don't think so. I really don't. 
this is like a bib. I'll just show you what I think I see here. It's like a, not a bib, more like a little choker with cage, um, cage beads or whatnot. And then this black thing, it's kind of an illusion thing, but it is wire. So that's tangled up too. If I can get this out of here, maybe I can, oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to leave that. And this is just a little fashion piece, red dangles. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying. Hey, can y'all hit that thumbs up? Just go down over by the screen. There's like 30 people who hit the thumbs up and the rest of y'all forgot. Don't forget. Okay, this is very, very much in need of a bath. And it is not wire. It is a metal of some sort. Okay. Now, charm bracelet. Oh, this is a DI Diamond International something or the. I've never seen any with so many different charms. I've only seen this one. And then I guess you pick up charms in each port or something. It's another kid's bracelet. Some kind of a port of call or something for people that go on cruises. And we've got a little charm here. Let me see what else is here. Loose earrings. Let me put those aside. Oh, good. I'm glad I got that. I was just putting this earring away. This was in the other bag I got. So now I have a match. And I said, oh, I kind of like that earring. I put it away, so didn't put that in a crafter lot by itself. I did put a lot of single earrings in the crafter lots. These need a good bath, too. Kind of silvery sequence or something on those. More earrings. What is this? This is pretty. This is a Sawarski, too? No, let me check. It does have a mark on it, though. Might be a department store. Let's see what this one says. Yeah, no, this one doesn't look like Swarovski. It looks like rhinestones. Oh, thank you, Lavender Strings. I hope you're doing well as well. Okay, this one has a V. <gasps> no, it is a Swarovski. What is the deal? It looked more like rhinestones to me, but I'm half blind. Look at that. It is a Swarovski. 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 Cool. That's pretty, too. It is hefty, though. And that is kind of their kind of telltale that their pieces are very heavy. That little apple was super heavy. Nice. All right. So two Swarovski so far. Very cool. What is this? A tangle. Oh, man. This is going to be a long night, y'all. I hope you got a drink. And a cigarette. No, I'm just kidding. I did feel like having a cigarette today, though, and I haven't smoked in forever. But it was one of those days. It was the longest day in history today. But just an adventure of special education. And I won't get into details. If you know, you know. All right, this one's broken, but it'll be a nice addition to the crafter lot. And, yep. What in the world is this? How about you all? How have y'all been doing? How is the weather treating you? Oh my gosh, the Halloween one. 
thought we had already gotten a Halloween one. This one says October. This is definitely the bag with all of the, remember, all of the occasion <laughs> bracelets. I still have all the other ones over here on this desk. Oh, my gosh, so many. We had Mother's Day. We had summer. We had everything. Okay, so now we have Halloween. <laughs> have you heard how Liz is doing? Um, as far as I know, I spoke with Liz about two days ago, and she was okay. Did I? Do I? Do you know something I don't know? I hope she's okay. Uh, the, all these little charms come off. I just took one off accidentally. Little kid charms. What is this? Ice cream. I think it's Disney. Yeah, there's a Mickey Mouse. It's all Disney. Okay, I need to put that away. Because people love their Disney. Yeah, Mickey. Minnie. Cool. I don't know who that is. I think, oh, that's Snow White in yellow. I don't think I've ever seen Snow White in yellow, but there she is. Okay. Let me know if you know anything. Okay. Oh, now we have March. <laughs> this is so crazy. I've never seen such a thing. This one's cute. It's got the uh, pot of gold, lots of green, of course. Wow. Uh, let me see what's over here. Another kid's bracelet. Or does this say something else? Is this Disney? Mommy's Little Angel. That's what it says. Okay. And a single earring. We have... A broken necklace, I think. I think it's broken. I think chains go here and chains go there. And I'm not about to figure it out. So I'll put that in a crafter lot too. And then we have another. This one's pretty. Little cabochon stone. Just looks like fashion jewelry though. Oh, this is pretty. Little angel pendant there. This is glass. Um, could be amethyst, actually. The beads look like amethyst. Yes, this is amethyst. Where is the clasp? It's been four weeks since having surgery. I'm ready to go camping again. Oh, good. I'm so glad. And I hope everything is getting better and better, gal. Camping is perfect at this time of the year, right? Well, it is here in Texas anyway. We wouldn't dare go any time in the summer. I don't know about everywhere else. We're still in the 90s sometimes. Yeah, this is amethyst. And I can't quite read the little jump ring, but maybe it's sterling. I don't know. It's a nice little piece, though, with amethyst on that. What's in the bag? Let's see what's in the bag. I like when they put things separately in a bag. It makes me curious. Oh, this is pretty. It's got chips. That's interesting. Look at that. Wowie, I like that. Look at the Trojan. Wow, look at that. This looks like a vintage piece. It is marked J something or what is it? Aside from having hair, let's see what it says. Coro. It's a vintage Coro piece. Nice. You see it there? Let's put it on this thing so you can see how interesting this is. Wow. And I was going to say, it looks like alpaca. The metal looks like alpaca or something. So, oh my goodness, that is very cool. What is that? That's that animal with the long antlers. I forget it. 
Is it a gazelle or something? And look at this beautiful angel. Looks like he's jumping. And the Trojan. I think it's a Trojan. Hi, Joni. Thanks for being here. Yeah, this is a nice one. Even the pearls look nice. I don't think they're real, but I'm not going to bite them right now. <laughs> and these blue stones are gorgeous. Gosh, I'm so happy that they're not missing. Look at the detail on this one. Is that a book uh, chain? Looks like, It looks like a book chain, right? But then look at all the other detail to it. Oh, I love it. That is very nice. Cool piece for sure. I never have either. Isn't it funny about Coro? But I have seen some very interesting ones. I hit an estate sale last year where she had, well, actually, Robert had hit it first and told me about it. And then I went back and there was still stuff there. And she had about three or four Coro bracelets that were very unique. So it's kind of surprising when you take a look at the collection. Does anybody have a Coro book? Do they make one? They probably do. This is just a little mall jewelry. Stick that in the crafter as well. And this is a rope of stuff here. Black rings, little crystals, more rings with enamel on it. Very nice if you really like that black and white silvery aesthetic. Interesting. All right. And this is definitely lightweight and probably from um, imported somewhere. I could bend that right in half. That's interesting. Very lightweight. Okay. What is this? A brooch. Oh my gosh, that is so vintage. And missing one pearl. I hope it's in there. That's like mother pearl. And then it says mother. And it has like, not even quite red. They're really like a raspberry colored stone on that. I love it. I actually bought my mother one of these. I went to a Catholic school. I think I told you guys. And they used to have a little store. And they would sell candy and paper. And <laughs> occasionally, this got like a little waffle mark on it. Occasionally, they would sell jewelry or little trinkets to buy your mom. Like for Mother's Day and things. And one year, I bought this beautiful little heart. It's a little smaller than this. And it said Mother like this on it. And my mother still wears it every Mother's Day. <laughs> and that's what this reminds me of. So pretty. Yeah, and I think I was in second grade when I bought it. So it's been a long time, and it's got every rhinestone on it still. So funny. All right. We got some big bling here. Gold. Huge chain there. It's very nice condition, though. It really is. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is a beautiful color. That is the prettiest, um, I would say lilac. This is like lilac here. And then like a champagne. Very nice. And these are glass. No maker on it. Very pretty beads. Beautiful. Thanks again for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. If you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. And this is a tangle here. I love when the tangles come apart. <laughs> There's one there. And it's just got a little angel pendant on this one and this one's just a silver chain does it have a mark on it? it looks like Avon it could be a Sarah okay 
This one's missing stones. I'll put that in a crafter lot too. Oh, thank you, Christopher. You're so sweet to pop in here. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. I'm having a great day. <laughs> this evening was definitely better than today. But I, you know, I do what I do here and just try to sit and relax with you guys and enjoy looking at jewelry. Believe me, it relaxes me as much as it that people say it relaxes them to do this. I just love doing it. And I so appreciate you, Christopher. That is very nice of you to do that. Super chat. Thank you so much. This is a cool piece right here. I don't think it opens. I kind of like it from the back better than this. This is a little much. I like this part. I like the other side. That is very nice of you. Thank you so much. All right, let me see if I can get this out of here. Here's some real pearls. Okay, this has to open somewhere. I like this too. I don't know what the silver one is, but I'm interested in that one. This one right here. Look at that beautiful drop. And these bevel set, bezel set rather. That's really pretty. Very short too. I love those choker pieces. So tomorrow I'm going to a 50th anniversary shindig about four miles away from here. And I'm so excited. It's really exciting to to join in the festivities of someone who has been married for 50 years, right? And I'm sure they're going to, well, they're going to renew their vows in a church. And they're going to have all of the uh, bells and whistles, dinner and dancing and so forth. So it's going to be fun. And I'm trying to think of what jewelry I'm going to wear. <laughs> this would be fun to wear. It's always about the jewelry for me. Always about the jewelry for me. That's the first thing my sister asked me today. What are you going to wear? And I thought about jewelry. <laughs> I really did. That's up. Should I wear this? Should I wear that? Should I wear gold? Should I wear a big statement? Blingy bling. I don't know. Oh, this is cute. Coca-Cola key ring. So I'm excited to see what I put together tomorrow. That's part, part of the fun. Okay, this is a... I love this style, style of jewelry with the belt buckles and things. This is actually marked... What? Who is this? Avon, of course. That's so cute. A little old Avon piece. You get less for murder here. <laughs> Good old. What are y'all talking about? You want to call Robert for the tangles? Oh, Robert's not feeling well right now. He's got the flu. He's trying to stay far away. He ate, ate his frittata in another room. <laughs> Because he and my daughter have a flu going on. They don't want to give it to me. This is in pretty good condition. Honestly. That is so cute. Avon buckle. So I'm not going to bother him with the tangles. It's the other half of this pearly thing. Craft your lot. 50 years of marriage. <laughs> Right. Oh, look at this. This is so pretty. Love tassels. Love tassels. This is pretty. Is this a belt? Look at the hook. It's probably a vintage belt from when all the ladies had 16-inch waists. <laughs> that could be a necklace for me. <laughs> oh, this thing is stuck in here. Let me try to open this up. A little bit yeah 50 years 50 years three children how many grandkids do they have I think they only have three 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 grandkids oh my goodness I love this yeah it's a little belt that's gorgeous look at that beautiful texture on the chain it's in immaculate condition 
That is beautiful. A purse strap. Good, good idea, Emily. Yes. I have used gold chains for purse straps. Here's one that I could use too for a little one. <laughs> right? This is the one that came out a little while ago. Yes, most definitely. Okay, so that was nice. And what? This one's probably going to go in the trash. It's got a lot of verdigris on it. It's got a lot of verdigris over here. I don't want it to spread. I'm going to have to recycle that one. Okay. And this one does too. I don't know. Maybe it's from this particular necklace. Oh, we've got a missing rhinestone off this beautiful brooch. Can you see him? I think it's a missing rhinestone in there. He's so pretty. Of course, sometimes they can be in there. Many times they are. Right in the bag. So let's see this. Hi, Crazy May Stash. How are you? Oh, my goodness. This chain has to come out of here because it's tangled up with a lot of things. Okay, so he's missing his little body. What a beauty, though. No marker on it. No maker mark, rather. But maybe it fell in here, and maybe we can save it. And what is this? LD... LD. Okay. This is part of a RCLD. I guess these are all the little charms. You are my honeybee. How cute. Oh, wow. These are those Mexican ones. These are cool. These I've had. Some of them have been sterling and most of them have been alpaca. But I adore them, and I did sell my... I think I sold both of the ones I had. They are so cool. They're a very, very old indigenous design, and I adore them. This one's nice. I may have to keep one after all. This one is marked. I just saw it right there. Let me see what it says. Hmm... It says Mexico. Echo. That's all it says. Echo in Mexico. Echo in Mexico is what it says. That's pretty old. That's a pretty old mark. I'm more than sure it's just alpaca, but it's amazing. I adore this design. Very cool. I'm excited over this one for sure. I love this. This is awesome. Really cool. Okay, what is this? This is broken. How pretty is that, though? Look how it looks like lace. Oh, my gosh. That is pretty. I'll put that in the crafter lot, though. But that's a nice design. What, those hooks are hard for you to put on, Carrie? Really? Really? I find them very easy. I don't know what they're called. You kind of just slide them in. And here is just a little costume piece as well. Some green stones on it. Gold and green. This was really cool. Look at the little needle point. What is it, a fox? How cute is he? And they put him on a chain. Hand done. Brass chain. I believe. Here he comes. Oh my gosh. Where's Miss Vixen? She collects foxes. 
I think it's a fox. Do you think it's a fox or a dog? That's hand done. That's precious. And I love the chain. Look at that. It's a Figaro. Beautiful. Looks like it had a little price tag on it at one time. That's lovely. <laughs> that is so cute. It's so funny, the wonderful things you get in these jars. Yeah, people will laugh and people will scoff and people will make fun, but like I said, that's fine. Let the rest of us have them. Let the rest of us dig through this stuff because we love it. And you can just laugh and do what you do. Okay, the gaudy stuff has arrived. Where would we be without the gaudy stuff? Somebody likes it. Somebody likes it, I'm telling you. I have a cousin who has a store in a small town in Texas. And it's a very nice store. It's not a thrift store. And she sells this stuff like hotcakes. They love it out there. They really do. But this is tangled. Very tangled. And let me see if I can... See, they get in these things. And then I can't get them out. And I knew I was going to break one because I had to open it. There it goes. There it goes. See? Somebody's going to buy this. Somewhere. But I'm going to put it in a crafter lot. Those little turquoise pieces can be can be had. Can someone can have a lot of fun with that for sure. And remember what I said about the crafter lots. We're giving them away for shipping only in a small fee to cover the PayPal fee. So please write me an email. All the information's in the description box. I don't sell my craft lots. I give them away. And there's a lot of jewelry in there, not just broken stuff. This is pretty. This little glass one I really like. Carrie's going crazy right now, aren't you, Miss Carrie? Wanting me to cut all this. But I can't. <gasps> okay, we've got... These were the real pearls right here. Wow, they're big. And they... They have a key? on. Yeah, it's like a little... That's so cute. It's The toggle is a lock. Little padlock and key. And there you go. That is cute. And those are real pearls. Not bad. What do you think about that? I kind of like it. Look at that. That's a nice look with genuine pearls. 94 people. 59 thumbs up. Thank you so much for hitting that thumbs up. Definitely a fox, right? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. What do we have here? Aw. It's like a strand of Christmas lights, but they're little hearts. And it's broken as well. Just to curl it. More turquoise colored things here. This one's pretty. Little bracelet, toggle bracelet. A little bit of wear on the color there on the chain, but that's beautiful. Hi, Miss Becky. I'm glad you haven't fallen asleep yet. Okay, I'm gonna this is the one I think has a lot of vertigree, so that's gonna go into a recycle bin, not even going in the crafter. I even feel it. It feels kind of yucky. This one does too. Look at this one. These will definitely go in the... Oh, it's so pretty though. <laughs> this is actually pretty, but it's so dirty. I don't feel like cleaning it. I don't feel like cleaning that stuff. I'm just going to recycle it. Okay. 
What is this? Oh my gosh. 1776. I've had this before. I don't know where, but I've seen this before. It's a nice little medallion, the centennial, bicentennial. And we've got some earrings, nice and matched. Silver. Ah, oh, thank you, Carrie. That's so sweet for you to join the channel. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. All right, we have stars. Silvery stars. And pearls. Pearls and some Janice Joplin hippie beads here. No, Janice had good taste. She had a lot of this stuff too, but I, I've seen her jewelry in pictures. It's nice. But it reminds me of the 70s, what they called, not 70s, 60s. The love beads, right? You know what they called them? Uh, I don't know what someone was doing here. I think this goes over the neck and then that drapes like that. I don't know. You think someone made that? Or you think it was designed like that from the stores that sell it? Who knows? Okay, I may have to get some scissors on this stuff. This one is unreal with filth, too. Look at my fingers. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Okay, there it goes. The chain, and definitely going to cut this out right here. It's only the, the suede. I don't know what happened. The suede is what's gotten vertigree all over it or something. Okay, that's gone. I'm going to put that in the crafter lot. Someone can do something with that. <laughs> yes, yeah, scissors, finally. And there was a single earring, and this chain is just a plain chain. Nothing there. This is pretty. That coral necklace was fabulous, wasn't it? That is really a nice piece. This is pretty, too. This is not, I don't think, a vintage piece or anything, but it's a nice piece. Looks like maybe Sweet Romance or something like that. Oh, it's got a little tag. Well, let's see what it says. Let me read this. NWT. Who is NWT? Does anybody know? NWT. New attacks? <laughs> I don't know what it, who it is, but that's gorgeous. Very pretty. The crocheted beer hat. Yes, yes, I've seen those. <laughs> You could probably get some good money on eBay if you had some of those. Interesting things like that always do well on eBay. I have a Green Day bucket hat that was my son's. I need to sell that. That's 90s stuff. This is pretty. All glass. Yeah. That and the, the crocheted vest. Remember the... The little long crochet vest that the women wore as well. I remember seeing Janice wear that too. But I want her fluffy hat, her ostrich feathered hat. I think she has such a cool aesthetic. And of course, I only appreciated her <laughs> as of late because uh, when she was popular, I was a kid who was listening to the Archies. I was, I was not... Uh, I was not old enough to listen to to that music. I didn't. I wasn't exposed to it as a kid. But now I love it. Now I appreciate that genius. That was Janice, Texas girl too. Port Aransas, actually. We passing by Port Aransas tomorrow, I believe. On my way to that uh, 50th anniversary thingy. 
Yeah. Okay, this is cool. I love these little skeleton keys. Okay, where did I see? Oh, I took um, my grandson to a Halloween store the other day, and they had, <laughs> they had these skeleton keys that were literally skeletons. <laughs> it was so funny. That is so pretty. Look at that. It's black. It's got locks, some rhinestones, long black chain. That's a nice one. I like that. Very cute. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of jewelry here tonight. Lots of jewelry. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Looks like 92 people still here. I appreciate you. Through the tangles, through the storm here, we're going to venture on. This is really a pretty one too. This looks like an old 70s necklace here. And it didn't... No, it's not. It's got a lobster claw. And, oh, what is this ink? This is very nice, though. It kind of reminded me of a 70s look. But it's a Macy's brand. Lost a little color, too, unfortunately. All right, another. Ooh, nice one. Ah, missing stone. It better be in this bag. And then there's a little silver. That looks like sterling. A little silver. Earring. I love that. That looks Edwardian style. Love it. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, everything. Everything but the kitchen sink here. Gold. I mean, black, silver, pewter color. Textured ropey links there. Very nice. Oh, my Okay, here's a little rhinestone, nice cl clasp on this, look at that. Oh, this one's marked too, does that say Sarah? Let me see what it says. Hi Miriam, thanks for pop popping in. All right, this one says, is it Japan? What does it say? It's upside down, Napier. Not, no. It doesn't say Napier. It's Nadri. N-A-D-R-I. Nadri. And it's got the N, the initial N on the clasp as well. This is gorgeous. It's very weighty, very nicely done. So, um, wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. I could pass for the real deal real quick. Have you heard of that brand, Nadri? It looks like it says N-A-D-R-I. It's got a nice fold-over clasp. And even the clasp is embellished. Beautiful. Very pretty. A little floral design, a little scallops. That's a nice one. It's a very nice one. Put that over there on her. Okay. And then this is a little drop. I think that's I think that's acrylic. Okay. Do you believe I still can pour some out? Wow, it's gonna be a two-hour video, y'all. Right. Let me make sure I got all these things off the bottom here. I did find some beads missing from the other bag. They were at the bottom of the bag. And I found some other little brooches, but now they're buried under this stuff. I was going to show them to you. They were little mini... Um, oh, Brighton, look at that. On the, on the packaging, they're called Pebble. Is that what they call this style? Okay, now we know. Look at that. Brand new Brighton hoops. Beautiful. And now we know. Some people were calling this, what were they calling it? I heard someone call it, was it dragon skin? <laughs> dragon skin or something? But a Brighton calls it pebble. Nice. I have never walked into a Brighton store for more than 10 minutes. So I have no idea what they call things. 
It's, I mean, not that I don't like it. I just never have an occasion to go in there and spend $200 on a purse. Wow, that's beautiful, though. I do like those hoops. Here's a beautiful bangle. Look at this. Wow, this bag got better, y'all. Look at that. Look at that pave. Rhinestones in there, crystals, whatever. Okay, let it be. Um, what have we found today? We have found a lot of Swarovski. There is a mark right there. I don't know what it is. I will check. Maybe it's Swarovski. No, this is the same brand as the bracelet. Nadir, Nadiri or whatever. It's got the same N on it. Okay, how do I open it now? Press a little bit. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Nadiri, they are brass and silver. For 35 years. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Look how beautiful. Very nicely done. Plays nice with these, others, doesn't it? Yes. Well, now we know. Now we know. Thank you, Carrie. Nadiri. Okay, this is Charlie. Charming Charlie's. On a tag as well. This is acrylic. I like it though. I like the shells. And the kind of faux bench beads there. That's interesting. I love that green color. Okay. Another hoop. And, ooh, a pretty one here. Look at this. Champagne colored pearls. Choker size. Really nice as well. Champagne and white. What a pretty combo. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is very nice. And I have to be so careful what I lift up. I don't want to make more of a tangled mess. I want to get through this. So insane, but I love it. Oh my gosh, what is, it's a knot of chains and pearls. It goes together, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, it's like, why not take mom's pearls, get them a little bit of a rocker vibe here with some chains, and there we go. That's it. More Charming Charlie. Oh, this has a matching necklace with the earrings here. Pretty. I love the navy. And cream, rhinestones, Charming Charlie, and they sell them for $15. Jewelry is so expensive, isn't it? Even the costume variety. This is missing the stones. What a beautiful piece, though. It almost looks like a J. Crew. But I think I'll put that in my rhinestone lot. Sometimes we need those big stones to make other things. And it's lost some color, too. So, great addition to the rhinestone lot. What is this? Look at this owl. Oh, my gosh. He's cute. Look at him. He is really nice. There he is. 100 people watching. 70 thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We do a lot of jewelry hunting. We love spilling jewelry on the table and finding treasure. We, fi we find it at thrift stores, garage sales, wherever we can. I hope I can make some 
some garage sales tomorrow on the way out of town. Oh my gosh, I have a low power mode. What is the deal with that? How is the stream so far? Let me plug in. I didn't even realize I was on the All right. Oh, I hope that the pitcher hasn't suffered for it. Okay. Love this owl. He's heavy, too. A little glass rhinestone on him. And, yeah, maybe I can go with some garage sales. If I do, I will probably do a live. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It doesn't even look like it belongs together. Because it's silver and gold. Is it marked? It is. It's Stella and Dot. Interesting. Stella and Dot does some interesting things. Here's a single earring. Pretty, though. Here's some more Charming Charlie's earrings. They're pretty. Who is this? Fashion jewelry, it says. Oh, these are when... Oh, gosh, everybody was doing these a couple of years ago, weren't they? Drapes and drapes of pendants. Interesting. Oh, I love this bracelet. That oh, was a score. What is this? What is, it's James Avery. Bingo. Bingo. I knew it was James Avery. This is, I should know. Uh, St. Christopher? St. Christopher. I believe that's St. Christopher. I was going to say Archangel Michael, but it's St. Christopher. And the bracelet's a classic hook on. James Avery, and um, a James Avery charm. Wow, nice one, too. I've had a lot of these hook on James Avery. A lot of people give these kind of as a starter for your first charm. And um, they're really popular, like, for, gra I mean, graduation gifts. And then you buy the charm separately, of course. I don't think I've ever seen the St. Christopher charm. There's the candelabra. And there is the sign as well on the, these are called the hook on bracelet. I've had quite a few of these. I really want one in gold too. <laughs> but I always wind up selling them or something. Or they've been big on me. And there's the mark there. Bingo. Nice. Nice to, to find a James Avery. I need to take that and wear it tomorrow on my long trip have a little St. Christopher on me for sure. Awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. Love finding James Avery. <laughs> I really do. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at this. It looks like a little faux opal. But you never know. These costume pieces often have genuine opals, especially, especially the cremants. I found quite a few of those. And, of course, those are gold filled, but still. What does this one say? Nothing? Nothing on this one? I don't see anything. It's very pretty, though. What a pretty chain, too. Herringbone. Nice little gold thing there. Gold bracelet, herringbone chain. Nice. Okay. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> you know what uh, he's a he's a he's a good businessman that's what he is he i heard him catering to other customers today too someone was asking him about video games and he said guess what i just got one in the back and he's like and he brought it out not the, not the game but the system and he's like yeah i've got one in the back i'll get it so i think he's just like really on it you know he knows what he's got he knows how to move it he wants to i don't know how the how the things work there honestly if they have quotas to meet or sales to generate or whatever but yeah but i'm certainly glad i found him when the jewelry was there because i was there a couple of weeks ago and asked about the jewelry and another person was on hand that day and he's like he was a little bit more like we never get jewelry he told me we never get jewelry and when we do it goes really fast and I was like, okay, I'll check back. <laughs> so you just never know. Just keep asking. <laughs> keep
keep asking is my motto. It doesn't hurt. I do the same thing at garage sales. I never used to ask at garage sales either. And I've learned from experts. <laughs> Always ask what you're looking for. Many times people will actually go inside and pull it out. And I know people ask me at my garage sales. And I usually accommodate as well. You want to sell it. Right? The sound and picture have been clear. Wonderful, Susie. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, this is rubbery. Rubbery stuff. But I want to get it out of here without damaging anything else. Okay. There it goes. Wow. I mean, what is the aesthetic of five strands of plastic? I don't. I don't. I don't understand that one for sure. People say I like everything, but I don't. <laughs> And this one goes like that. Double strand. Nice colors. Nice fall colors on that. And then we have more gold. Yeah, well, this bracelet and charm definitely paid for the bag as well. So, so the Swarovski paid for the bag. This paid for the bag. Very cool. That is a really nice St. Christopher charm. Look how thick that is. Nice. And this is just some little gold discs. I'm going to put that in the crafter. I see a little bit of loss on the color. Lois, how are you? I hope you're doing well. And this is broken piece of rhinestone. Here kind of looks like an old piece of a rhinestone choker here. Nice, just a little simple strand of rhinestones. Here's more, because okay, so we have two. We have one with a hook, and this one has a clasp, a fold-over clasp, rather. They look vintage to me. Okay, I'm totally running out of room on this table. <laughs> Some hoops. This is a sterling earring. I hope I get the match. Looks like onyx, beautiful. I sure hope I get the match. I put it there with the Mexican bracelet. Love that bracelet. Can't stop looking at it. And another little, probably Claire's or something. One of the girls at school had the cutest earrings today. One of my students, I'm, I was just like staring at them. They were so cute. They were mermaid tails and they were from Claire's. <laughs> Claire's has the cutest jewelry. They really do. Okay, these are sterling, I'll bet. These are darling. They look like it, but I don't know. The lever back mm, leads me to think otherwise now, but you never know. They do look like it from the front, don't they? They're beautiful regardless. I'll have to check on that. It could be. Anyway, they were mermaid tails, and I just thought they were so cute. Stretchy, uh, a little piece of rhinestone strand there, and a hippie bracelet with all kinds of beads and ceramic beads and metal beads. And what is this? Oh, a little crystal something or the other on there. It's heavy, it is glass. That's pretty. That's pretty. What does this say? Sterling silver? Let's see. That's what it says on there. Could that be the chain? Yeah, the little rope chain says sterling on it. There's quite a few chains in here. Can you guys see that? Let me undo it. Oh, nice one, too. I say that because it looks like an old one with the jump ring and the little bar on the clasp. Come on, come out, come out. Come out smoothly. Oh, it's got a little pendant, it looks like. Uh-oh, lost it, lost it. Oh my gosh, it's so delicate too, and it's tangled up in this. I'm just trying to pull it out slowly. 
You guys have a lot of patience hanging in there. Thank you so much. 98 of you. Very kind of you to be here. Oh, my gosh. What? There was a little green heart in here. Now I, oh, here it is. Something green. There it is. Look how precious. Looks like a, a zirconia or something. And it's sterling, too. I mean, not zirconia, like a zircon or something. Look at that beautiful drop. Like a teal green. That's precious. And it is marked back there as well. Beautiful chain. Kind of a very delicate rope chain on that. Okay, where am I going to put that so I don't lose it? thing is delicate. All right, more things were here. What does this say? May. And... This is just some kid jewelry. I'm not going to bother with this too much. We got best friends. We got tassels. We got a bar. This is fearless. And a, a soccer ball, too. So that's pretty much there. I'll put that aside. That's pretty tingle. I don't want to go through all that right now. And I did get the other. Oh, no, this is the pendant. All right, so we got a matching pendant. This looks like Mexico. Let me see. It does say sterling or 925. Let me check. But one is a pendant. Okay, it's ATI Mexico. So that's a new mark. ATI stands for um, something about trade initiative. So since they banned NAFTA or they changed it or whatnot, now all the imports from Mexico and other countries, as far as jewelry, instead of being stamped with your T mark and all of the other stuff. Now they're going to stamp them ATI. So that's all that means. A lot of people are still kind of puzzled about that. But that's what it means. That's all in that book from Hogarth as well. <laughs> we learn a lot through books, don't we? This is interesting. Look at that. It's like a little Middle Eastern design. Very pretty little earring. I hope I find the earring to this. Okay, so we have the necklace and one earring. Here's a little key. Hopefully it'll be here or in the other bag. Okay, we got the match from these very exotic earrings. They're beautiful. These look um, like a carnelian stone. I'm not sure, but they're beautiful, aren't they? They got a nice sound, too. Diva, fashion, chic. Okay. How does this go? Oh my goodness. This is heavy. This feels like a Brighton or something. How cute. Okay, I think this goes in the back. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. So we have like a Chanel quilted bag or something in the front. <laughs> that is really cute. And then the back has all of the um, affirmations. <laughs> I love it. It's really cute. There's rhinestones there too. Oh, they are? I'll check, Carrie. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it is a Brighton. Look at that. It's got to be there for Brighton. I was going to say, it really reminded me of a Brighton from the weight and everything. I'll leave it to Brighton to do something as interesting as this with the, the little lady bags in the front and the affirmations in the back. Oh, I love it. Look at that beautiful chain ensemble there, too. Got some rope. Twisted rope. Beautiful snake. That is really a nice Brighton. Wow, in amazing condition as well. My goodness. Okay. What else is here? Pretty earrings. Look at this. Look at that beautiful chandelier earring. Hope we get the match to that one too. Now this looks interesting. Wow. Very cool. 
Let me put this on here. I thought this was going to be a J. Crew as well. This is very nice in brass, red, sparkly, and then even black in the middle there. Very, very nice. I like that one too. My goodness, now I know why this, this bag weighed a ton. This is interesting too. I love things like this when they put the chain with the rhinestones and just juxtaposed aesthetics here. And wow, beautiful. This is nice too. No maker on that one either. Look at this pretty bracelet. That is so pretty. It's a stretch. Very interesting things they do with stretchies. And we've got an amethyst here. Is this a lucky brand? It's probably a lucky brand. They always throw in some genuine gemstones. I don't know if I like all of this with it. But it does have uh, stones in here. Some kind of quartz here as well. I love this. I'd probably take that off of there and just wear it on a choker. And I certainly don't like this tangled thing. It's not even real leather. Nice though. Nice piece of amethyst. And what is this? A whistle? Tiki? Tiki jewelry. Look at that. Who knew? Who knew they made tiki jewelry? I think it's a whistle. No, it's not a whistle. It's tiki. Okay, it's tiki. That's what it is. And we did, did we get the other earring or not? Oh my goodness. Or am I just losing it? I feel like I just moved it. Okay, yeah, I don't see it yet. Okay. Nope. And we've got this little tangled thing here. This is from, again, Premier Designs. I love this color combo with blues and gold and super, super long. Wow. You could definitely triple that. And this is a gold chain. Oh my goodness, look at that. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And then more. Wow, that's beautiful. I like that. I love the caged ones especially. And those are acrylic. They're not heavy. Is this the third bag from the one you got? Yes, I believe it is one of them. I don't think it's the third, is it? Did I already do three? But I went back and got one more, didn't I? And then I got a tub today. Did you see that picture? He sold me an entire tub of jewelry today. He said, do you want me to bag them up into bags? I said, it's okay, I'll just take the top. <laughs> so we're going to be scooping it out here on the table, y'all. This is uh, American Eagles or something, AE. Very cool. I like that. It's articulated leaf with rhinestones. Yeah. Okay, we do get a match on the pretty black ones. Uh, but there's a stone missing. What a bummer. Okay. A little pearl. I don't think it's real. More, more hippie jewelry here. And this one looks dirty. Very dirty. What a shame, too. It's that one right there. It's got a lot of color loss. I'll probably toss that. Okay. Put that in the recycle bin. That's not even good enough for a crafter bag. And another one of these multi-strand things. I think it's just a chain. And then this going down there. Down. And then somehow. And then this. Nothing on that. Just a little bar. Chevron bar or something. And we did get this earring matched up nice. This might be that brand as well that we found in the bracelet. 
and the necklace. I think it's the same brand. Look how gorgeous these earrings are. Wow. All rhinestones. Chandeliers. Beautiful. Those are really nice. They're not heavy either. Very pretty earrings. Okay. Wow. I think we exhausted. Oh, no way. Here's more. <laughs> this is uh, coming apart couple of pieces missing this is pretty these earrings are nice look at these these kind of look like that Joan Rivers I found is that two together yes here it is yes okay they're already matched up right here thought it was a long one these are two earrings here wowee there they are beautiful and acrylic and gold tone. Love those colors. Okay. I believe it's it. Wow. Thank you for sitting through that. What about that bag, guys? What do we know about that beautiful bag? Vintage Coro, like you've never seen before. Amazing. Collectible Hecho en Mexico. No longer found very, very common anyway. James Avery on the wrist. Wow, Swarovski. I think three Swarovski necklaces. Brighton. Guys, I'm so happy you were with me today. Thank you so much. Please give the video a thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe. Consider supporting this content by joining the channel. There are perks with that. If you join my Facebook group auction, which is a private free auction. And I do auctions over there on Saturdays. But I won't be there tomorrow because I'm going to travel to a shindig, so to speak. And I will see you guys sometime. I'll Maybe I'll do a sale like during the week, like when I get back. Because I'd like to do that. But if not, I'll see you next Saturday either way. Hope to see you back here on YouTube trying to get some content content out there for you as much as I can. So I do appreciate you. Be sure and hit the uh, bell as well so you don't miss another video. Thanks again. Good night.